All right, so this is more of a public service announcement. Um, for those of you tough people driving, like, let's, uh, I used to have an F-250, okay? Let's start right there. Okay, if you're driving an F-250, it's about 7,000 pounds. Okay, you come across the semi, let's say he's only loaded to 70,000 pounds. Okay, he outweighs you 10 times. Okay, so in Houston, guess what? Somebody decided to block the 610. Is it 610? I think it's 610. No, uh, I 10. So, somebody driving a pickup apparently decided to have a tangle with a semi. Probably, probably trying to fit into a space that wasn't there. Right? Wasn't there. So, the semi, his uh, passenger side, front fender, sorry, uh, another example of somebody trying to make up for a lack of manhood. Yeah, that's the way it is. Come on, man. Um, so, coming, th coming through Houston on I-10, somebody apparently tried to take on a semi. The, on the semi, the passenger front fender was kind of brushed in pretty good. Probably uh, took out his front wheel. Uh, they, were, they were hooking up to tow him away. And you could see the pickup, looked like the pickup probably spun around at least once, maybe twice, who knows. Um, but here's the thing, right? People are so busy trying to squeeze in the spaces and it's up to somebody else to yield to make that, that the move happen. It's not going to work out in the end. Whoever was driving this truck, or whoever was in that truck with them, they, they might have refused to go to the hospital, but if they went to the hospital, oh man, they're going to have Bill, and it's probably their fault. Okay. Don't do it. That's why you don't tailgate. That's why you don't try to fit into a space that you don't fit into. Because those semi drivers, they can't react like your like your pickup, let alone like my car. So you're just asking for trouble. And these people found it. Uh, I'm just asking you, please. Think about think about do you really need to do it? Okay. Onward upward.